Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the channel. Just leaving the shop here, about to load up in the old hog there, and uh, got a few treats today. First of all, Arlen the Wonder Pup here. It's getting dropped off to get neutered. Sorry, little buddy, but uh, it's time. And we are going shopping. So we got a new work van coming, and we need to stock it with tools so when it gets here, we can hit the ground running and start making some motherfucking money. So we're going to run over to Home Depot today. I'm going to take you guys shopping with me. Uh, most people don't really get to experience, like a, I guess, a shopping spree like this, but most people really, really would like to. Um, so I've done it a few times, and uh, I, I really enjoy it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, I'll just show you guys basically what we use to stock up a work truck so it's ready to go out and do some service calls. And uh, yeah, should be a good time. So here we go. Is the restroom. We gotta find a heavy duty car. It's gonna be a big one. One of these, one of these. <laughs> have drop cloths. I want to leave your customer cleaner than when you showed up. Big asshole saw for can lights. Gotta get the fat boy ladder. Orange ones. So here's basically the gist of what we got to fill up the van, at least get it started. I got a six inch hole saw, which we use for can lights. We do a lot of those. Uh, we got drop cloths so that, you know, you, when you go to a customer's house, you want to leave it cleaner than you showed up as. So especially with those, if you're going in and out of crawl spaces or attics, or if it's mucky outside or something, you ought to be tracking through that through there, as well as the vacuum so you can clean up, make sure you do a good job of cleaning up. Uh, got a flashlight. This is my favorite style flashlight. It's just the most versatile heavy duty easiest one to use got the multi-tool i use this probably more than all tools except for my uh impact i um, use that for cutting through just about anything any kind of uh drywall cutting in boxes or access points or anything like that you just get a nice clean straight cut if you mark it out fast easy to use doesn't make a huge mess um Got our hole saw kit, as well as a couple of their hole saws for, uh, you know, anytime you got to drill a hole, then you make sure you got all the sizes you need. Um, just random drill bits, some random fasteners and everything from Home Depot. Um, they're 
honestly pretty low on everything. So we're gonna have to go to the hardware and pick up some more stuff. Just some more drill bits, a couple of these 6.0 batteries, which I've never had before. The biggest I've had is the 5.0s. And then I had got this carry case, which is a, a pack out. And it was some, I think Christmas special. So anybody that's uh, looking to buy their own tools, the, the company requires them to buy their own tools. We provide our employees with the tools. So that's why we buy all this. But uh, some companies, like every company I've worked for, you had to buy your own tools. Um, so if you wait around Black Friday to Christmas time, they, Milwaukee or DeWalt always release one of these boxes that have wheels and they have a bunch of tools in it. And so that's only $500 for a $1,000 value, like it says right here. And you really can't beat that, especially for a starter kit. I know everything is basically Milwaukee, but that's what I started with. So that's what all the batteries I have are. So it's kind of hard to switch after you get started with it. And then just some more drill bits. Um, got this fish tape here from Southwire. I've had fish tapes of all kind, metal, the steel ones and the nylon ones from Ideal, Klein, and Southwire. And this is by far my favorite one. This is the one they came out with a couple years ago. And it has this kind of a braid to it. And it just makes it so much stronger, a stronger head. Um, I used to be a tool demo guy for Southwire. So I'd get to try out new stuff that they came out with. But as I opened my company, you know, my email box just started getting flooded with emails every day. And they send you an email. And if you don't get a tool and review it every so often, then they kind of cancel it. So unfortunately their emails just kept getting lost in all mine. And I wasn't able to keep up to date on it. But worst thing could happen. So we got couple pack out boxes here and these for those of you who don't know they attach right to the top of this roller and I used to have uh, rigid ones which I still got a couple boxes up there of the rigid ones right there and right there and those were the first ones that really came out with this design of a roller box and so when I was wiring big factories it was a huge plus because you could load all your stuff in there and just wheel it across the factory and so it's really hard to beat those. Now, Home Depot only had two of these in stock for some reason, so I'm gonna have to go back and buy probably three or four more of them. Um, I use a ton of those, fill them up with screws, breakers, uh, electrical tape, and I like to organize them each so every single one has its own, I guess, category. That's the, I'm all about organization, just so it's the fastest, easiest way to find everything. And here we got the M12 Spectre inspection camera. This one has the nine meter long camera rope. Um, this thing is a lifesaver. I've used this so many times and I've done service work without these before and it's possible, but man, for $200, you get the whole kit and it just makes it so much easier. So many different ways. You don't have to risk hitting things with the, in the wall if you're fishing for it or drilling. So that's definitely required on every single one of our trucks. And then we got a six foot ladder here. Um, got some more used ladders of like four footers and eight footers. So just standard Werner, but needed a new six footer. Then we just got a set of conduit benders here. And, uh, and I just went to Home Depot real quick and bought all this cause we needed it like ASAP. But for any of you that are out possibly buying your first set of tools or renewing some tools, getting some new stuff, one tip about conduit benders is some of them have a gray head like that, or a yeah, dark gray head, and some of them have a silver head. The silver head is actually an aluminum, and the gray is more of a steel. I think it's steel. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's steel. But this is much stronger. These aluminum heads, I've actually blown this nose right off of them trying to bend a piece of rigid, like if it's cold out, because then the aluminum gets so uh, weak, I guess, um, that when I was bending it, and this happened a few times, like I said, this whole chunk right here just shoots off like a bullet. So if you, these are all they have in stock. So if you wanted to order them online, you could get them all in a steel head. But you know, if these do break, you can buy steel head replacements because they just thread on. And so that's what I'm planning on. If they break, then we'll just order new steel heads, but we needed them like ASAP, like I said. So uh, can't really wait for them to come in the mail. Um, got a set of glow rods here for the fishing through attics, crawl spaces, walls, whatever. 
And uh, yeah, so that's basically the gist of it. That's what a basic setup of tools are. You don't need much more, especially for just the light service stuff we do. Um, we do have like M18 band saws for cutting big conduit, but we've really moved away from construction. And so this will about do it. I mean, even the 18 volts are overkill, but it's such an inconvenience, I guess, to buy it 12 volts because the only thing I want that's M12 is the impact and everything else, I prefer it to be 18 volt. So I guess they just have to deal with the big old 18 volt drill, huh? So that's basically what it is, you know, and uh, I did my first shopping spree like this when I was 18, I believe. I went through and spent a few thousand dollars on uh, tools and man, it felt good. Everybody on the job site was extremely jealous though. So if you do do this, then expect everybody at Home Depot to give you weird looks because everybody wishes they were you at that point. Um, if you get to the job site and you have a bunch of new tools, everybody will give you shit for a while. It's like, oh, what are you, a new guy? But you know, screw them. You're the one making enough money to buy the new tools. So that's what matters. I'm not brand loyal really to like only Milwaukee, DeWalt, or Makita. Um, I know it seems that way because everything is Milwaukee, but uh, you know, once you start with a battery setup, it's hard to move away from that. So it's hard to get DeWalt and then have some Milwaukee stuff and then some Makita stuff. I do love Makita and DeWalt stuff. And I was really trying to find a way to diversify just so I could show you guys more different brands, but it just doesn't make sense logically. Now, if we grow this channel to the point to where I can review them things when they send me tools, that's great, I'd love to. I like all the brands, but um, yeah, it's about, just gotta stick with what I got, I guess, for right now. Um, everything's, it's a perfect setup for us because you can keep things clean, you can keep it simple, instead of having a bunch of tools that you don't really need on the van. Um, but yeah, and so if you're, uh, if you're looking to buy your first tools and get started in the trades, you definitely can't go bad or wrong with any of the uh, starter kits. But especially if you're, like I, I bought my first kit, like that uh, wheeled one with uh, all the tools and I bought that my senior year of high school. So it was around Black Friday and you know, like $500, you get multiple tools because their average drill set's $400. And so $100 more, you get a wheeled cart, uh, two more tools and you can't really beat it. So timing's everything when buying tools. Sometimes like with conduit benders, you just need the stuff now. So if it's not in, uh, the one you want isn't in stock, you kind of just gotta take what you can get. But yeah, it's fun. I love buying tools and uh, I'm not afraid to put money into investment. A lot of people are always like, damn dude, how do you have all the nicest tools there are, the top of the line ones? But you know, they're tools that make you money. It's not like buying clothes or a pair of Jordans where you wear them around and nothing against that, but that doesn't make you money. This stuff makes you money. So it's just a, it's a good investment. It's a sound investment. Um, always be able to make money with tools. So don't cheap out on tools. Make sure you buy the good stuff because you want it to last and get the most off your investment. And uh, if you guys want me to review anything else, make sure you leave a comment below. Make sure you also like and subscribe and tell your friends about it as well. But uh, as we use these tools, I'm gonna go through and review them. These are newer things than what I had because um, I bought my stuff six years ago. And so all this is the newer model stuff and I'm really excited to put it to use. And I'll, uh, I'll show you guys how it's holding up, what I like better about it than my older stuff, and uh, just how, how everything works. I'll do probably some demos on it as well, so you guys, if you're deciding between which brand you wanna do, at least you'll be able to see the Milwaukee stuff. Um, my brother's a plumber and he has all the Walt stuff, so maybe I'll jack his for an evening, and then my dad's a mechanic and has all Makita stuff, so maybe I'll put all three of them to a test. So uh, like I said, like, subscribe, tell your friends about it, and uh, hope to see you on the next one.